The next algorithm, our third one, um, the objective is to have our corner pieces all lined up in the proper spots. So let me show you what that would look like. Um, this is an example of what one looks like when it has the corner pieces lined up. It has this piece right here lined up with the orange and green. This one's lined up with green, red. We have this one lined up with red, blue. This one's lined up with orange, blue. So these are all lined up. So this is kind of what we're gonna be looking for. So if you already have this, you can skip the step. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you some of the different variations that you can have in your Rubik's Cube. So um, one way it might look is like this right here. And so if you'll see on mine, I, oh, this one's lined up. If you kind of turn, you should find that there will always be um, two that line up. So if I do this one right here, you see I've got my orange and blue, green and red that line up. If I turn it this way, um, none of them line up. If I do it right here, again, now I've got uh, two different ones that line up. The green and orange and the red and blue. So essentially what you need to do in this situation is pick um, two that are lined up. So these are cat a corner, and I'm gonna have it so that um, the correct ones are front left, so kind of like the fishy, front left, but also it needs to be back right. So front left, back right, and this is your orientation. This will be your front. Um, in the other sequence, let's say like right here, you see this one. It has these two are correct in the back. They're, they're side by side instead of being across from each other. Um, this is going to be your back. It's going to be your back, and you're going to have your front right here. So the correct ones are in the back. So let's, um, let me show you the next algorithm. It goes like this. Right invert, front, right invert, back, back, right, front invert, right invert, back, back, right, right. Now this one is long and confusing, um, so I think the best way to learn it would be by using a tune, because I think that's a helpful way. So the tune that I have to learn it, if you want to come up with your own, that's fine, but it goes like this. Right, invert, front, right, invert, back, back, right, front, invert, right, invert, back, back, right, right. Uh, it's, to, it's to the tune of Gallagher's Frolics, so you can look it up if you want. Um, but Gallagher's Frolics is the tune. Right, invert, front, right, invert, back, back, right, front, invert, right, invert, back, back, right, right. There it is. Um, so this is what we're going to be using. So I'm going to go through it now with you, and I'll show you the what it looks like. So once again, these are this is my orientation, back, right, front, left. Let's go through it. Right, invert, front, right, invert, back, back, right, front, invert, right, invert, back, back, right, right. Now if I look, I finished. Um, this is still saved back here. There are two correct blue ones side by side now, which means we're one step closer. So now those will go in the back. So let's do it again. Right, invert, front. Right, invert, back, back, right, front, invert, right, invert, back, back. Right, right. And now if we just twist that top, you'll see that we have all of these corner pieces now aligned. So once you've got that, you've completed this step.